pride is a contextual thing. Right now, we're encouraged to be proud of absolutely everything that would make everyone maybe 10 or 20 years in the past uncomfortable to reveal. We can be prideful about being militant atheists. We can be not even like casual atheists, just the Richard Dawkins type. And of course, this is creating controversy because it's kind of like an internet only thing. Uh, there's gay pride, or there's strong woman pride, or there's not as much racial pride as I thought. But then again, your race is your race, and you can kind of just stick with that. It is what it is. So. It's not as, they can't add the fluidity as much as they want to. There are people that call themselves trans racist. There are white people that no longer identify with being white, so they call themselves black. They can use the word nigga without the suffix I just used. And they wouldn't be called out on it because they're like, hey, I'm not white anymore. So it all goes back to a square run. And it's not Wiggers. It's not Wiggers. Because those guys at least know they're white to some degree. Pride is contextual. We all know that we're the shit. Everybody knows they're the shit. Uh, some people in the rare minority aren't the shit. And they know they're not the shit, but that just makes them more of the shit. Modesty, self-deprecation. Ever notice that people that have low self-esteem and are kind of like kicking themselves in the ass? They're always being bitched at. They're called guys that are feeling sorry for yourself. It's not that you don't think you're the shit. It's that you think you're the shit. And you want someone to suck on your dick because you're having a bad day. That's kind of what they take it as. And it's not always the case. Sometimes you really think, wait, what if I'm not this shit? And it's a unresolving thought. It's not really comforting to think. We look at ourselves in rose color lenses. We really do. We're not as attractive as we see ourselves. That's kind of why the m mirror is very flattering, but a video camera isn't because that kind of breaks the illusion our brain creates that we're at least two points higher in attractive skill. I don't know how attractive I am, but I'm pretty sure I'm not as hot as I think I am. Doesn't matter. Still the shit. But pride is contextual nonetheless because we instinctively know that if there's something weird about us, we probably don't want to let everyone else know. Not just out of fear of being publicly shamed, but just because it doesn't give us the right social image that we want. That's why I feel that in the future, women are going to be fighting to get back in the kitchen. In the future, gay guys are going to be fighting to get in the closet. Or to throw away this homosexual, identitarian construct for good. And the gender construct. They're gonna, females are going to throw that shit away. Because they're going to be fighting to get back in the kitchen. And discrediting sex as a construct, or making it a lower level for the gender identitarian construct, that's going to go away eventually. It all goes back, the cream always rises to the top, the constructs that work stay just the way it is.
think about it. 